Good day everyone. Hope you are all well. Flight simulation enthusiasts and aviation professionals alike have a long awaited for each release from PMDG with high anticipation. Among the most celebrated offerings is the PMDG 777 for Microsoft Flight Sim. This aircraft has been praised not only for its visual fidelity but also for the depth of its system modeling and operational realism. Compared to its predecessors, the 777 represents a significant leap forward in several key areas in which I will show you some features that you don't want to miss. One neat little feature is the movement of the AFB. Click in this area of the ACAS to enable the movement of the AFB. This helps in reducing movement in the cockpit since degradation to performance of the sim is in fact an issue in 3D cockpits in the, the uh, Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. This makes it easier for users to input variables from the scratchpad into the CDU. To return the AFB back to its original position, just press the area where you first saw it. Another feature which I find hasn't been used quite a lot is that of uh, the FS control which is uh, here in the main uh, menu display what it does is you can change pretty much for example the ultimator here you can actually change it if it has been filled okay, so at the moment when it's uh, on and it's working you can actually change uh, the ultimator here but uh, with this uh, service this failure sort of uh, you can actually control it here and pretty much change this, fail this value here if the uh, figure did crash so one way to actually check if it did fail most times that uh, they'll go to uh, the uh, circuit breaker but this is one section of PMDG that uh, it might get in the future the FS control switch here but it's not working at the moment uh, but normally you check to see if this breaker is working uh, if it's not or if it's popped out then uh, you'll put it back in but if it's a case where it's in and it's not working uh, then this is the way that you normally use it uh, go to on and uh, in this way you'll see an FS below you press this button and you can actually change what the figure is by putting for example two nine decimal five eight plug it in here and now you see that uh, the figure is now input here so that's one way you can uh, use this figure in the event of any failure and does simulate her real world operations Audio for VATSIM now has the capability uh, to support the newest codec and channel frequency of 8.33 kHz spacing, which the uh, PMDG777 has the option. In Europe and other parts of the world, it uses this spacing, which uh, doubles the number of channels available to accommodate more traffic than one band, example uh, 120.5. decimal Tune to a frequency on VATSIM such as a Frankfurt ground on a 121.805. One one decimal eight zero five. Or Amsterdam Tower frequency on 119.230. One one PMDG 777 has always had non-normal procedures and systems, but let's see what happens to one of them. Data link and SATCOM failures are two in particular that is quite astonishing. Simulated here on the ICAS display because of the radio waves being uh, very erratic in the northern hemisphere, in that region where the aircraft navigation switches to true heading than magnetic heading. Considering the failure of SATCOM shows how in depth this aircraft can be. Well folks, these are some key areas in system depth and animation that shows how intricate this aircraft is. I can safely say this aircraft is the hallmark of aviation in the flight sim community. Have you bought your 777? What do you think? Do leave your comment in the description below and we'll get right back at you. With that being said, do follow my channel and feel free to watch other, other videos while you're at it. Alright, now see you guys on the next one coming soon.